All right, folks. We were sent another kit from another sculptor. Remember how last time Natalie Scholl sent me this super cute kit, Everly Gwen, that she sculpted? Which, if you haven't bought yourself this kit, head on over to her website to get one before they sell out because there's only a few left. I am so excited to share this kit with you guys. This is another sculptor who has done the legal things with this kit. They have protected their artwork. It will not be reproduced or stolen. How awesome is that? So this really is a one-of-a-kind kit. You don't have to worry about this kit ever being manufactured. So we have another great sculptor who has done something amazing for this community going above and beyond and protecting their kit so you never have to see it on the secondary market let's see what kit i have here to show you guys oh my gosh there's a foot oh how exciting what do we have here Ooh la la who could be in this bag oh man that knot is not done very tight and why am i having such a hard time i don't know i don't know <gasps> oh my gosh oh we have a hand oh my gosh do you guys recognize that hand how beautiful is that wow this sculptor did such an amazing job look at that leg it's so sweet look at those toes and the separation oh this is a beautiful kit you guys are going to want to get this kit. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And it's one of a kind. They'll never be reproduced. And it also has a small edition of 750 kits. Look at that hand. How beautiful is that arm? We've got our other leg here. Oh, I love it. The toes are all separated. Look at the froggy leg. How sweet is that leg? Let's see this kit, guys. Not much of this kit's been out. Because the sculptor just released it. Oh my gosh, it looks just like Everly Gwyn back there. Ha <laughs> ha, it is Everly Gwyn. And I paid for this kit. So here's the COA. So yeah, I paid for the kit. Uh, something very important. Don't show your COA number with a barcode or serial number. That will make your kit non-authentic. That's already happened to several people in this industry. It's sad, but they didn't follow the rules. So now they're running around with non-authentic kits. So make sure not to share your serial number just think about it you never share the serial number to your computer to your phone to your gucci purse you never share the vin number to your car there are reasons behind it you need to protect what you own so yeah i paid for this kit but i have to tell you guys you know that there were some people who were so mad and they were so mad that some people are no longer supporting Natalie Scholl because she did something right for the industry. Uh, she has copyrights done on her kits. She's developed a security system. It's called the 3S security system. It's got a triple layer of security. Each kit has a, C a COA number, a barcode, a serial number, and um, it's got a scan barcode on there, right there, which you're never supposed to show... Um, that number with your COA number because this number is very important. This is how you know it's an authentic kit and you can always message Natalie and she can confirm that it is authentic. And if these kits are ever on the secondary market, she's able to cancel that, submit the proper paperwork to have the kits removed and even take them to court if she needs to be because she's copyrighted her work. That's the beauty of copywriting your work. 222, two, two, that is my number right there. Oh my gosh, it's one of my numbers. So anyways, yeah, uh, a few people were so mad at Natalie. They said they would never support her work again because she had sent me a kit for free right there. Now, she sent me this kit to review. She wanted an honest opinion. She wanted somebody who would review the kit uh, and give an honest opinion. She also wanted somebody who would review her security system and give an honest opinion because she knows how I feel about... Um, the reproduce kits and the legalities behind them so she wanted to me to share the security system with everybody and review it to let you guys know that she's developed a security system that the sculptors are able to use hey you just have to contact natalie so she's trying to help the industry by giving a security system that will 
protect your artwork. And as long as you get your work copyrighted, you can use a security system, which gives an extra layer of protection. Like she said, it's a triple layer security protection. So it's really to ensure that your kit is never reproduced. In my opinion, as a sculptor, I would do what I could to not have my kit reproduced. I would get my copyright done. I would join up with Natalie and use her security program. She also has groups on Facebook to help you understand how to get your work copyrighted. So she's there to help you sculptors out. You just have to put your ego aside and reach out to her and realize that this is the only security system that I'm aware of in this industry. And this is a very successful security system in many industries. Tons of industries use scan bars, serial numbers to protect their items. It's a very smart thing to do. So yes, I got another kit. This one, like I said, I paid for it. But how crazy is it that some people are so mad at Natalie for sending me a kit that they are like, I'm not going to support her. How dare you send that to In Love With Reborns 2011? You know, all I see, jealousy. A jealousy is ugly, super ugly. Because at the end of the day, all of these haters that I have, they cannot give one valid educated reason as to why they do not like me most of them do not like me on factless reasons factless reasons but it's okay at the end of the day the haters are my biggest fans the other day i saw one of my haters <laughs> take a screenshot of parker and in the group ask what kit that was so it just tells you that when i say my haters are my biggest fans they are they're always still watching my content hell they probably know more about my life than i do this kit is a beautiful kit and I really recommend everybody getting it. The doll poses in so many wonderful different ways. It's amazing. Natalie did an outstanding job with this kit. I mean, the kit even has armpits. I don't think there's any sculptors that have done armpits. If they have, I've missed it. But this kit has the ability that no matter which way it's posed, it just looks good and it holds so well. It's very comparable to um, silicone dolls. It holds very nice. It just holds so realistically. Like, I don't know what to say. It's really, it's a trip. The way the doll holds is very nice. And I know that's just not my waiting techniques because I know I'm really good at that too. But it's the, it's the kit. It just melts in your arms not in your hands <laughs> but anyways look at that look at how beautiful this kit is so are you gonna get one are you gonna get this kit knowing that this kit will never be reproduced and if it is reproduced natalie has all the legalities in place so she can pursue legal action if she needs to to have the kit stopped being reproduced or sold if they don't listen when she sends out the information letting them know that she's the legal owner of the kit see when you're the legal owner of the kit it doesn't matter at the end of the day if you created it you have to be the legal owner and that means copywriting it so if when you are the legal owner to the kit you are able to stop your kit from being reproduced and you're able to stop your kit from being sold that is the beauty of being the legal owner of the kit just because you sculpted the kit doesn't mean you legally own it at the end of the day someone can swoop in and take it over because you haven't protected it so that's just the beauty of doing things the proper way and that's what natalie's done so if this kit is ever reproduced she can stop it almost instantly and you will always have an authentic kit. As an artist and a collector, having a kit that cannot be reproduced is so much more valuable than having a kit that is being mass reproduced. But the beauty of being an artist like myself and having a really established name is that I'm able to sell her for what I would want. But some artists, they're not as established. And so they're fighting with you know, people buying reproduced kits. And so some artists will are having to lower their prices because of how mass produced some of these kits are being reproduced. So that's the troublesome for some artists. So if you're not established, really well set up, you know, new, you know, been in this a long time, your customers know your work and they're buying it for your art. And they're, you know, they're like, they like your price instead of seeing, oh, well, that kit's being mass produced. Why would I buy that kit when I could go buy it over here for a cheaper price? Like your newer artists are fighting with that. So please 
sculptors, I beg you, do your job and protect your artwork because that tells me that the artists matter to you. And at the end of the day, without the artist, there is no you. So the very least you can do for the people who are paying for your income is to protect your artwork like Natalie Scholl has done. It's very cheap from my understanding. So there is no excuses for you not to legally be protecting your artwork. You're setting some of these artists up to have a really hard time selling their dolls. Like I said, not everybody is so established like I am. Not everybody is been in this industry as long as I am. And so they're a professional artist and have all this years of work under them. They're just barely starting out. When you're mass producing a kit, oh, you're not, somebody else is. But when you're mass producing a kit that's already sold out, we as collectors and artists lose value in the kit itself. So I know how much money uh, roughly you make on these. Everybody can do the math. 3,700 kits times how much what it was and then take out a percentage like 25% for taxes and maybe some other fees and you kind of get a rough idea as to what a sculptor makes producing 3,700 kits. It's super dirt cheap to protect your artwork. When you look at the number what they make for the kits there is no excuse for a sculptor in my opinion to not be protecting their artwork. The only excuse that I can come with is is they really don't care for you guys in my opinion because if they did care about you guys they would stop sending out lynch mods and they would protect their artwork versus being the bully themselves in my opinion hey when your artwork's protected you can stop the reproduction so you guys out there crying wolf point the finger back to you and change it do something good for this industry I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and block all the negativity. At the end of the day, those people don't matter. They only matter because you allow them to matter. Just block them. Move along. That's all I do. And trust me, I ain't been phased yet once by a hater. I'm still here going strong. And I got a lot of haters. When you get large followings, you get a lot of haters. It just comes with the territory. And I don't let them slow me down or make me not enjoy my hobby. I love my hobby. I'm here to stay. You guys should do the same. Just block the hate. And I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday.